It has been a long time since I've played BGS, especially on the channel. Well, actually, it hasn't been a long time since I've played. It's been a long time since I've made a video on this game because I kind of quit, but now I'm back and I have a lot of really good pets to show off. Let's get right into the video. What is going on everybody? I'm back making another video and today we are in BGS. It has been a long time since I've made a video on this game. You know, the game has had its ups and downs and you know, there's a lot of reasons why I quit, but a lot of people wanted to see the videos back and after all, this is my job and I do still enjoy the game some and it has a really good trading economy. So I decided to get back into trading and start making videos again. Recently, I traded for a robot 2.0, shiny almighty pumpkin, Mythic Lucid Leaf, Luminance, Sinister Lord 2.0, Immortal One, a couple of Mortal Trophies, a Sinister Skull, a Soul Heart, and a Wolf Lord. These are all really good secrets with good demand, and I'm pretty sure last time I recorded, I had a whole bunch of really bad demand secrets like Candy Cane Shards and BGS plaques and stuff like that, and I didn't even have that much value. It was like 15 or 20k in bad demand stuff last time I was playing the game, and now I have like 35k in really good demand stuff. If you guys want to see another value list and do not worry if I make another value list on this game obviously I know that there's no changing how trading is. It's just it, it is how it is. Some things get really big overpays because of demand. Some things get really big underpays because of demand. Demand plays a way bigger factor in the value in this game than actual rarity. Obviously rarity plays a big factor if something's really rare like it's going to have a super high value but there's some things that are similar in rarity and really far are off in value from each other just because of demand. So if I do end up making another value list for BGS, it will be run by a bunch of big traders and I'll make sure that it won't be a math system type of thing. It'll be as accurate as it can be just based off of what people are giving for those pets. It'll literally just be an accurate list based off of what most people are getting because you can ask big traders and they'll pretty much know the value for pretty much any pet. They'll know what it's actually getting. So yeah, I have a lot of really cool pets now. Um, I want to keep trading up and trying to get better and better things. What does this guy have? Oh, the trade went away. So yeah, I might also do a series back in BGS again. Not really a doggy to secret type of series. I did a couple episodes of that. It'll be very similar, but it won't be doggy to secret in particular. It won't be, it'll be kind of like doggy to secret, but I won't be using like an unknown account or whatever where people don't know who I am. And I'm not going to start off with nothing. I've already been trading and and I pretty much, I've restarted this game so many times because, you know, pets get duped and then I get trade banned or, you know, pets just disappear in a trade. Like my mythic vanilla Sunday champion that was like 40 or 50k back in the day. I mean, you know, I've had my reasons for quitting the game. Isaac kind of plays sides, but we're not talking about that today. I'm just trying to get back into the game, get back into trading and, you know, kind of just forget about the reasons I quit the game and just trade and build my inventory again, make some videos because that's what everyone wants to see and honestly that's what i'd rather do than complain about stuff even if i have legitimate things to complain about i mean i'm not really gaining anything out of it it's not like isaac's ever gonna give me my pets back but yeah i want to do a trading series very soon so i'm gonna start recording a whole bunch of trades and pretty much we're gonna see how much value we can get right now we're at like 35k our next goal is 50k value then after that we'll try to get like 100k value we'll try to get a dementor maybe eventually we'll get a leviathan or og robot i I've never been able to get one of those pets for myself. I feel like it's definitely going to be even harder now that they're even more rare, but I mean, duping was also a problem in this game for a long time. There's probably quite a bit of duped levies and robots out there. Oh yeah, isn't Godly Jim like only 25 or like 28k now? That's kind of funny. That pet got duped a lot too. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Uh, I don't really have that many trades recorded. Any trades that I do have recorded, I'll show right now. And then we'll just end the video by opening some eggs because I have not opened up any eggs or done a time laps in this game in so long so i mean let, let's open up the new egg what what even are these eggs dang they're actually kind of expensive which that's a good thing they should be well they're probably not even that expensive compared to how good like some of the newer pets are if i traded for some of the newer stat pets it would be super easy to get this amount of diamonds but yeah it's pretty much it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see more bgs make sure you hit the like button comment some more video ideas down below and subscribe if you have not already so you can make your way back to the channel not really much else to say i hope you guys enjoyed peace out
Say